I have I have officially signed to the red. Oh, he's in the Kool-Aid. We're in the Kool-Aid, baby. Okay. And what you guys have maybe been waiting for is it's, the Komodo X. It is official! <laughs> Brandon has been literally... Brandon has been tempting me, showing me, shooting with me for the last two years, bro. <laughs> ah. Two years, bro. <laughs> Let's go. Two years, bro. And we picked up the kicks. Now, I want to clarify, because listen to me. I think a lot of people on the canon side of things are going to be like, why are you switching? And I want to say this. I'm not switching to Komodo. I know that most of the time when people upgrade their cameras, they mm -hmm. will sell what they had before right. to be able to purchase the new. I love my R6 and my and my C70 so much. I'm using it. I will I'm keeping those cameras. I'm not getting rid of it. One of the major reasons why I uh, stayed in this ecosystem was the RF mount. I'm keeping my RF glass, keeping my EF glass. We'll continue to use that. This is going to, for me, be for higher end projects and productions. And then for the C70 and the R6 will be for more of the run and gun when I really need that autofocus, when I need, you know, uh, quicker turnarounds on yeah. projects. So not leaving, <laughs> not leaving Canon. I am, and I mean this genuinely speaking, Canon for life. Cannon for life. I've been shooting Cannon for 13 years, not getting rid of it. Take the head off. We are, we are, <laughs> <laughs> we doing it, baby. We doing it, baby. The real merger. <laughs> the real merger. The real merger, baby. <laughs> Let's go, Nikon. Yeah. And Cannon. <laughs> no, real talk. Uh, obviously, I had, I've been aware of this move. For, for a minute. And, dude, I am, first of all, I'm proud of you. Excited for you. Excited that you've officially uh, jumped all in, um, you know, in the red ecosystem. And I know it's it's a learning curve. and But, like, obviously, Jarrell has, uh, we've talked a lot about this decision process. Yeah. But for the people, I mean, I know you say you plan on using them both, right? Mm -hmm. But for you, uh, and I'm going to go through, because, I mean, the people are showing love to you bro like that's this is one thing this is one thing that i do love about this live stream community yeah is that like it's a real community you know what i mean like despite canon red nikon yeah. whatever like at the end of the day buying a camera that you are interested in buying and that you love and that like you're hoping to be able to get more out of yeah i think is a great first step you know yeah. what i mean like that's something that we should all be excited about that's why like I mean, I know we we rag on them, but like if you buy a Lumix, you can let us know in the chat. Like we'll still be happy for you. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like the people who finally, finally are getting their Pixuses, I'm happy for them. Absolutely. Like I'm excited to see what they make because I understand that like for a small group of us, you know, those of us who are you know camera enthusiasts, we love this craft. We're you know we're gearheads, whatever. Like there is something to getting your camera. Mm -hmm. It inspires you to want to go out and shoot more. Like just, I mean, how long have you had your red now? A few days? Oh, two days. Two days. How much just going out and playing have you done? Oh, 100%. Like shooting, I've made like two or three videos. Nothing that I'm going to be posting because I need something more than just my dog and <laughs> backyard and <laughs> that sort of stuff and kids. But man, I am itching, bro, to go shoot something. That's so like people always say like you know should you buy you know what's what's a good reason to buy a camera? I am in the unpopular group here mm -hmm. when I say I think you can buy a camera if it's going to motivate you to go out and create more. Yeah, like yes, there should be logical reasons. Definitely don't go into debt. All these other things make good financial decisions. But like if a camera just motivates you to want to go make more stuff, like. You should have that spark. Absolutely. And if and if you can get a camera responsibly mm -hmm. and have that happen, like, I mean, people do it with cars. Mm -hmm. People do it with watches. People buy tech and have no use for it, but they like they're like, oh, I just like it. Mm -hmm. I think in the camera space, you can do that too. 
I was having this uh, conversation yesterday with someone else, and one of the things that I realized the moment that I unboxed it, put a battery in, slapped some lenses on it, I realized a little, it was a little scary having the KX, if I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Mm -hmm. And here's the reason why. There are now, and I'm not saying that the KX is a perfect camera. It could be better at autofocus. I'm still learning it. But now it feels like, and this was probably even true about the C70s and all the other cameras I used, but now because this is used in Hollywood to shoot whatever, Marvel, all, all sorts of different movies, there are now, the limitations will not be on the camera anymore. Mm-hmm. It'll be on my skills and my abilities and my knowledge. And that was a very humbling moment shooting with the KX that if the picture don't look good, it ain't the sensor. <laughs> it yeah. ain't the camera. It ain't the lenses. It's on me. And so uh, I will say for me, the motivation is to become a better cinematographer. Because right now, I feel like I'm in first grade. Yeah. No, it is it is one of those things. I've just been pulling up a few of the different... Uh, <laughs> I've been just pulling up a few of the different ch- uh, comments. Uh, J-O-M uh, Productions, my, we see you. My we'll dude, we'll right? talk to you in just a second. But you're 100% right. I, I'll be honest. When I first got into the world of red, I felt the same way. Mm-hmm. I was a little, I was a little, I was like very nervous. I was also afraid to like post work and say that it was shot on red because like I already know that like the sensor is one one part of the equation, but like lighting and everything else. And so like, I'll be honest, like I was just, I was afraid to tell people when I would shoot some things on red when I first got them. Because if my lighting wasn't just right, I knew my image wouldn't look great. And people were like, oh, like, must be nice to have this super expensive camera, but your lighting sucks. Yeah. Your audio sucks. And, like, there was a little bit more of a clinical, not clinical, that's not the word, critical uh, lens being put on my work. And not only from exterior sources, but from myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I will say, dude, like, getting into... Getting your dream camera of any type, no matter where you are, it should reset like your expectations, mm-hmm. right? Like it should be like, okay, what can I get? Like, how do I get the most out of this camera now? Absolutely, right? And like, I do think that that is something that like even I like. I mean, I use I have the Raptor X, mm-hmm. love it, but like I haven't made any like real content on the Raptor X yet Mm -hmm. because I have taken it out on a few projects like commercial projects but I don't feel like they've really allowed me to like really stretch what the Raptor X can do like with the extended highlights and stuff like that and so like I'm waiting for that so for sure because I know I'm gonna get that judgment about the camera but like dude like I'm just like super pumped about it, and everybody else seems to be excited except for JOM Productions. No, I will say this to JOM Productions and anybody else to all of of you guys. Why you got to unsubscribe to my channel because something (laughs) he did? That ain't on me. He still shoots Canon. He, I have Canons. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. There's a Canon lens on this camera right now. I I got got Canons right now. There's a Canon right there. (laughs) Um, I will say this, and you're probably joking. It is fine. Hopefully, hopefully you're joking. Uh, but. I will tell you guys, and I'm not going to compare it to any other camera. I'm just going to say in general, Mm -hmm. guys, before you knock it, try it. Or maybe don't try it. Because (laughs) the moment, okay? You going to tell them about the experience? No, I'm not. Okay. Because I'm not ready for the hate. The (laughs) moment, okay, that you shoot something and you put it in your editor, there is secret sauce. I felt that way about the C70. Like when I when I when I put up my mirrorless camera next to my C70, I'm like, what does it do? It's doing something different. Like, why does this look cinematic? Okay, why 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 do the highlights roll off like this? Why am I getting more dynamic range? What is what is going on? Okay, same brand, Canon. Why does this look so much better? The same thing happens with the KX 
where when you view the image, you might not immediately notice what's different about the KX until you go back and look at other footage. And you'll be like, there's some secret sauce. So before you knock it, okay, before you knock it, try it or don't try it because you don't want to ruin stuff for you. <laughs> uh, JOM is definitely joking. Look, yeah. real talk, I will tell you for me, my experience, like I get a lot of hate. <laughs> Check out the clips channel. <laughs> <laughs> I get a lot of hate for the clips. Um, when I talk about reds. Yeah. Because I talk about that. I yeah. talk about the 16-bit. And then everyone's like, you don't need 16-bit. And I'm like, you're right. You don't need 16-bit. But once you see it, and then you got to go back to 10, and then you have to like edit something together, and one was shot in 10, one was shot in 16, and you're just like, oh, yeah, this is... Oh, it's like, it's like a bell you can't unring. It's wild. I'll tell you this, too. You're going you're gonna to find this very interesting. Global shutter will mess you up. It will. It, because it's not even just like moving the camera, mm -hmm. but it's movement in the camera, mm -hmm. like shooting fitness or shooting sports, anything like that. It just all hits different. The slow motion hits different. Everything, everything about it is different. Um, so, not to not to sit on this topic for too too long. Yes, but dude, congratulations. Thank you, brother. Dude. Red, I converted another one. Uh, <laughs> Send that check. <laughs> yes. Uh, converting Canon shooters one red Komodo X at a time. One Komodo X at a time. <laughs> hey, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free, and you're not going to want to miss any other content we have on this channel. And if you did not enjoy this video, you probably shoot Sony. So that's all I'm going to say. <laughs>